Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Today we're going to take a look at some things about Joseph's coat in the Bible and how it's symbolism of Jesus Christ. It's known as the coat of many colors. You can read the story of it. It comes a lot down to just as with Jesus. Since Jesus was sacrificed and put into his tomb, it's the same as when Joseph was betrayed by his brothers and was cast into a pit for a time. Because the prophecy for Joseph is that everything will bow down to him, just as for Jesus. This story goes all through the Bible. Joseph had ten brothers. The brothers were all jealous of Joseph and threw him into a pit and sold him. Later on, Joseph actually saved everyone and brought everyone back. As you can see here, he had ten half-brothers. He was betrayed, just as Jesus was betrayed. Which just so happens, at the end times, Jesus has to fight ten kings that have not received a kingdom as yet. these ten horns. And the ten horns with thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. It's the same story with Joseph. The brothers were... It, here, we'll read that real quick. The coat of many colors comes all the way back to Jesus. Just as when Jesus will come in a vesture of red. Just as you can conduct all the way to Superman's cape. See here? Because this symbolism is shown all around us about this coat, the king's robe. Just as Jesus wore a purple robe for a time, in his normal garments, and with a cord of blue. But these signs are all around us. Even in this new Superman movie, they are trying to stop what's considered to be the birth when Jesus takes the throne of Revelation 12. See the dragon? And they will try to stop Jesus from when he takes the throne. He does not have the throne yet. But it's shown even here in this Krypton series where even time travelers are trying to stop the birth. How do you destroy Krypton? Because we're on Krypton. See here they're trying to get the cape just like to get the robe of many colors. That's what it was done in the, in the Old Testament scripture. They dipped the robe in the blood and then went to the father and said, A beast ate Joseph, his favorite son. And Abraham was all dismayed. But they dipped the robe in the blood, exactly as with Jesus. And then they cast their brother into the pit. See how he's on the, looking like the cross? Because it says the sun and the moon and all the stars and everything will bow down to him. And that's why all the brothers were mad. It was the same thing as the time of the beast. See? Joseph sold by his brothers. And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of goats and dipped the coat in the blood. And that's how you get Jesus red coat now and they sent the coat of many colors and they brought it to their father and said this have we found know now whether it be thy son's coat or no and he he knew it and said it is my son's coat and evil beast hath devoured it the beast and the ten that are with the beast so you can see how this symbolism plays out all through there 
Well, as we showed, it's even in here. See there? They're trying to stop the birth in here. And all the Old Testament is about a birth coming at the very end. Even in Isaiah 65 and 66, it's all about a birth coming. In, that, in Isaiah 65, And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and of mine elect shall inherit it, and my servant shall dwell there. And this is why not everything is supposed to be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I doom for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. A blessing upon the earth with the new wine, as Jesus talked of, with new garments, and you put the new wine into a new satchel, if you read the parables and such that Jesus talked of. Well, these things are shown all around us. <clears throat> we show on our channel how all the world is mapped out as a matrix. See how they're going after Superman's coat? And this, it's all about time travel and trying to stop Superman from even coming into existence. The greatest hero in all the universe. <clears throat> this thing of a brainiac. He's called a brainiac with one mind. He works together as legion. So you can see the parallels there. The coat and brainiac. Don't forget in Revelation 17, who Jesus fights, the ten have all one mind now. See, Brainiac is like one mind in that show. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast, and they will go after the lamb. These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. For the birth, and the robe, just as in here, when they took... Joseph's robe. Well, these things are shown all around us. On our channel, we show how all the world is mapped out as a matrix. It's, it's shown in these movies, just like we show the whole earth is controlled. This is an area here, one of many places that we have all mapped out around the world. see Kansas City, about right here. And this one area here. Manhattan, Kansas City. Kansas is right here. But we show how all the earth is mapped out of the matrix. I'm just going to show Jesus Christ right here and the Revelation 13 beast coming after him this beast is considered to be the Revelation 13 beast the dragon with many heads the beast out of the sea with seven heads and ten horns this dragon see the ten crowns for those ten kings that are with them and the feet of a bear the Bible is a family book all the angels and everything are related. Even Satan is one of God's children. But right here, you see the Revelation 13 and the feet of the bear. And you can see how it's even in your movies. It's mapped out right here. Right here, you're going to actually see Jesus seated with his robe, his wings, ready to go. Pretty crazy, but it's right there. See the 13 and the feet of a bear and the beast like a vampire, like Dracula, just like the Batman. See him mapped out right there? Isn't that crazy? And for those that know their Lord of the Rings, you can see that even Moorland represents the Mordor, the Tower of Mordor. In other words, to get to the next age, this tower has to come down. That's what's talked of in the uh, Bible. See, get past there. You can see how this represents part of even Donald Trump is in the picture. See this big elephant? See there? With the bear. Remember the feet of the bear? And there is Jesus just 
just as with Joseph down in the pit. See the pit? Because this is him speaking the gospel and everything through this like a megaphone, and it's it's him feeding the world. It's talked of him feeding the world during this time until this eagle is ready to go. See how the eagle is is stuck? The Revelation 13 beast, the feet out of the the feet of a bear. And there it all is. More door for the Lord of the Rings. You can see it even here. More door. We have to get past that. This eye that can see everything. See? The final battle. Gandalf, just like Jesus on the white horse. Randolph, just as with Gandalf, versus the beast, Legion, who is many, that works as one mind. See the feet of the bear. All of it right in front of us. That represents the robe of many colors. So you can see it's the same thing that we've been showing and it's going right by scripture. Just as what happened here. That's the same thing as what happened to Jesus. He was cast into the pit. He was thrown out. Then he would become the head of the corner. Everything it represents, even in these in these movies, they do a type of voodoo. The voodoo lately has been, they've, they've been killing Superman off in all of the movies lately. So see how they do their voodoo just as here. See, something has come from the future and is working as one mind with many things to go and to try to stop the birth of Revelation 12. The dragon. There's even time travel involved in that one, which could be the CERN Large Hadron Collider over there. But see, to his throne, they're trying to stop that birth. When Jesus actually takes the throne, there will be war in heaven then also. There it all is. The Revelation 13 beast out of the sea with the feet of the bear. And that's the robe of many colors. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. I'll see all of you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. Let's enjoy the adventure. And tell as many people as you can. What have you seen going on around the world? talks of in the Bible that we will all wake up at this time to see these things going on. God bless you all. Hallelujah. The story of my family is one of triumph and sacrifice. How we led a revolution against tyranny. Now it falls on my shoulders to save my world. Someone from the future is coming to destroy Krypton. Because where I'm from, your grandson becomes the greatest hero of the universe. isn't about how we died, it's about how we lived. <laughs>